Now this week on Feeding Frenzy, I'm taking one of our special viewers on a date. Now he promised to get me a little something and I can't help wondering what it could be. Well, I really am going to find out what he's gotten me and I'm at a restaurant called Shell which is just off the busy ECR Koti Wakam Road. So why don't we go on inside and get this date on a roll, huh? As I unclenched my nervous disposition and stepped inside, the tiny restaurant setting quickly directed my view towards my date, Ramesh, who was awaiting my arrival with equal anxiousness, for obvious reasons, I'd say. You know, Pratibha and Nehru, you missed this because I managed to get this little angel. Well, thank you so much, Rajesh. Uh, oh, fully, I burn up those calories. Now, will you accept this, please? Show Inn is a 30-room inn with a small space shell dedicated to the culinary expertise of the executive chef Amit Roy. The space is just over two months young and although it might look small, it serves a world of options, literally. A multi-cuisine menu and for me, that's a good thing. Maybe it's thanks to the little angel because my date happens to be vegetarian. Rajesh, you love Gobi Manchurian, but just for today you're going to be trying something new, right? What was that that you were saying you were going to try out? We're going to try Singapore noodles. Okay, and that's some, for your main course? Yeah, and okay. kebab, okay. vegetarian kebab. Okay, cool. Now, Rajesh is pure vegetarian, so I think I'm going to be having a good lobster for a starter and maybe a chicken ratatouille for the main course. It took me some time to get this shy guy out of a shell. But as I chatted with this software engineer, delicious spread took over our attention for a brief period in our conversation. For Ramesh, it was a vegetarian shish kebab made from finely chopped carrots, peas, beans and mushrooms, grilled and served with a bowl of mint chutney. On top was a light sprinkling of pepper to add some final flavouring. For me, it was a king of crustaceans, the shell lobster. This creamy textured dish was made from garlic, butter and a simple flour, milk, sugar and water sauce called bechamel sauce. Presentation scored well on my plate and it was time to dig in. You like the chutney? Okay, what do you think of the kebab itself? Yeah, it's soft and tasty. Soft? Ramesh was sure hungry as he gorged on his kebabs, giving me the occasional, how's your dish look? I must say I'm pleasantly surprised at this dish. I mean, I was not expecting it to be as nice as it really is. But it's very nice, it's got a very nice fresh sauce and I can get the taste of pepper, a light, slight tinge of garlic and a lot of cheese. Lots of cheese. La, 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 la. Much coaxing needed, Ramesh was soon beginning to come out and tell me more. He even offered to do something totally unexpected, serenade me with a Tamil song. Feels like the angels got something to do with it. Well, Rajesh has definitely been a gentleman right from the start. Now, this young guy here has been trying to impress me right from the minute we've met. First, there was this little dolly here. And now, what do you want to do with Yeah, I'm going to sing a song for you. You're going to sing a song for me? From which movie? Yeah, Uttama Putiren. Okay, so you can start yeah. then. Kannirandil moodi naan vilindeni Karanam indri ye naan siritheni Yen manadum yenu yen nidam illai Wow, very good. I think you need an applause for that. Guys, what do you think? Come on, he sang for me. Yeah? That's really sweet. Okay, I think with that we should go for our main course, right? Yeah. Hungry? Yeah. Okay, all that singing has made him hungry and all the listening has also made me a little hungry. So I think it's time for some food now. For 
the main course, it was a simple yet obvious choice for Ramesh, a vegetarian Singapore noodles. His was a simple bowl of noodles to be honest, nothing extravagant. Made with green peppers, carrots and cabbage, the bowl of noodles looked trouble-free and uncomplicated, much like my date here. My chicken ratatouille didn't quite look like the traditional recipes, but hey, change is welcome so long as it's good change. Now back to the recipe though. The presentation scored a star by me. The stuffed chicken breast made from aubergines, peppers, mushrooms and herbs had a steaming hot mushroom sauce poured over it, presented with some butter rice and salad on the side. So Rajesh, amongst the many festivals we have in India, okay, which festival would you like the most and why? Yeah, I like uh, Pongal because uh, my mom will be preparing milk Pongal and some sort of sugar Pongal. Mm. I like it uh, very much. Mm. So I like. So tell me about your noodles. How do you like your noodles? What do you like uh, about the taste? Yeah, many vegetables are there. Mm. And then it's spicy and tasty. Mm. And then really good taste. Good. Tastes good? It's got your favorite vegetable, no? Yeah. Can you guys guess what his favorite vegetable is? Capsicum. Capsicum? Yeah. Okay, that was supposed to be a question to the viewers, but anyways, you like capsicum a lot? Yeah. That's nice. So, how does a capsicum go with the noodles? It tastes nice? Yeah. Hmm? It's crispy. It's crispy. Hmm. You know, Rajesh was asking me how I liked my, my main course. To be honest, I think my makers is very delicious to say the least. It's a chicken ratatouille and it comes stuffed with aubergines, uh, minced mushrooms, chilies, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers actually. And it's got this rice serving and a salad. It's really nice. Except for me, I think that it's a little salty for my palate, probably because of the mushroom sauce that they've used. But I think when you kind of mix it along with the rice, the flavors kind of infuse well and it tastes quite nice. The overall experience of the restaurant is satisfactory and the pricing, although it may seem overpriced for certain dishes, can actually be worth it if you place the right order. A meal for two on an average is between 600 and 700 rupees. must come to an end but nonetheless I've had a pleasure being with you today Rajesh thank you for coming okay and thank you for this beautiful little angel that you brought along very sweet of you what do you think of coming on the show and being part of the show and yeah, it's really, really exciting and then the food is very good then I had a good day with you yeah. it's a very nice was this like a dream come true for you yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> did you pray to this little angel yesterday and say God please let me go yeah, I, I pray to God to get into the show. Actually, I sent the email for the second time and got selected. It's uh, very lucky. <laughs> well, Rajesh is definitely right. If you don't get through once, then you keep trying and you will definitely get through. Now, if you'd like a chance to be on the show, then what you've got to do is answer this week's competition question. But in the meantime, Rajesh and me are going to finish up our little meal here. Time for this week's competition question. What is the largest food item on a menu? A. Deep fried elephant B. Roast camel or C. Pan fried palm tree Send in your answers to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com <laughs> <laughs>